take a quick look at the 225 from Newmarket on Friday. Um, this is a 12 furlong group three for three year olds and up fillies and mares, uh, 45k to the winner. Um, good quality affair for the tag that's on offer. A few progressive types in this that are gonna go on and win better races. Um, this is how we've got them rated. Uh, got Sweet Memories top rated at 4.0, Veil of Shadows at 5.5, Novakai at 5.5, Voodoo Queen at 10, and Running Lion at 11.5. Uh, others longer. Um, we just take a look at the prices. The 10 Veil of Shadows, um, uh, the 10 Sweet Memories currently available at 6.5, first a rated price of 4.0, uh, good overs, strong confidence win betting angle, the lightly tried three-year-old See the Stars filly, um, well related, uh, and the second top rated Veil of Shadows has got under the odds makers guard here, uh, it's been 8 out to 11, um, rated 5.5 goes around 11.0. Uh, by Frankel out of the King Mambo Mare family of Annabar Blue, the French Derby winner. <coughs> um, they're the two that we're going to be backing here. The third top rated Novakai, um, currently 5.5, uh, about the right price but no advantage there. The three Voodoo Queen um, has been missed by odds makers as well. Um, by Frankel out of the Distorted Humor Mare uh, Cursory Glance. Got it rated 10.0, goes around at 17.0. Uh, you can have a little nibble at it on an each way basis in support of the top two, Sweet Memories and Veil of Shadows. Um, and Running Lion um, is Unders, um, seven Running Lion. Currently 4.0, um, we've got it rated 11.5. So good value at the top of the rated market. Sweet Memories, uh, 6.5, it's available at. Veil of Shadows, 11. And Voodoo Queen, a little nibble at 17.0. Let's go and take a look at them. Uh, we'll start with the 10 Sweet Memories. <clears throat> um, very well bred by Caesar Stars out of the saddle as well as mere time control. Um, she's well related. She was lightly raced. She's got cursory glance by distorted humour and also um, see this and also um, sweet memories. Um, and interestingly, cursory glance. If we go up to the three voodoo queen, cursory glance, which is out of the dam of sweet memories is the dam of the Frankel filly Voodoo Queen, which we also like in the race as well. So two close relations in Sweet Memories and Voodoo Queen here are two that we're gonna be backing. But um, as I said, we'll start with Sweet Memories. <clears throat> um, by See the Stars out of the saddle as well as Mare Time Control. Um, she's got, as I said, um, cursory glance of 112 rated three from four winner. Um, if you go back to the second dam, the Darshan Mare Time Away, um, she's got, um, the Saddler's Wells mare time on, making the dam of this one time control a full relation to the 111 rated time on. It's also got posted by Kingman um, and Rafid, the 102 rated by Sharmadal as well. So a good female line, um, plenty of stoutness in this family. Um, the run that we're going to go on is this win over um, Sunset Point last time out by one and three quarters on the 5th of August, an enlisted company. The form coming out of this race stacks up. Sunset Point back in second by Drew Barwi. Um, cl um, climate Friendly in third. Amusement back in fourth. The well-bred Galileo um, filly from the um, O'Brien yard. And good margins further back to another well-bred one um, by Drew Barwi in spring fever. But the second one home next time out was only beaten two lengths by Shembala at listed level on the back of winning a good handicap over Graceful Storm, lightly race improving. The third home climate friendly um, next time out was beaten a length by C Theme, beaten 13 but didn't run up to par um, behind Novakai, so put a bit of a line through that form line. And the fourth home um, was uh, was only beaten six and a quarter by Emily Dickinson in a in a group two the start prior, suggesting that there's a lot of upside in Sweet Memories and the form line back through Lafayette Tower of London and Shamida also stacks up as well to say this one's potentially um, close to Group One level on the make uh, and eventually may turn into a Group One four year old filly as well. So that's the top rated Sweet Memories. <clears throat> a lot to like. Frankie Dettori up for Jonathan Thady Um 
Veil of Shadows, the 11, and been missed by the odds makers to a degree. Um, <clears throat> one last time, uh, ran second last time out to the high class Sapphire Seas over 10 furlong at Haydock. Um, uh, Sapphire Seas could develop into anything next season. Now a winner of four from five, very well bred um, from the Godolphin Yard. So the Godolphin Yard have got a good line on. Um, Vale of Shadows, as they also train Sapphire Seas. But if you go through the form references finishing further back, um, there's good merit coming out of those beaten further back. Um, Vale of Shadows led that day, no chance with the winner, but held sway over the third home um, by a decent margin. The third home is a one from six winner. Um, wide margin third to save the last dance in that good list of race at Chester earlier in the season. First run off a 55-day break. The fourth horse home um, won its two starts prior at Goodwood and Windsor. Fifth horse home, only beaten two lengths by Marinara. Won at, won at Windsor the start prior. Good form line back through spring fever. So there's enough there to suggest that Sapphire Seas, I mean, Vale of Shadows, there's more to come yet. Very well related. Out of the King Mambo Mare, um, Violant. If we just go and take a look at the dam's pedigree of this family, um, she's already got impulsive by new approach rate of 112. But if we go back to the second dam, Alez, Alez Les Trial, she's the dam of French Derby winner Annabar Blue and also Reunite by King Mambo, which was 113 rated. So Violent being a full relation to um, Reunite and also a half relation to Annabar Blue, um, suggests that this one's pretty well related. Um, so more to come for the Lightly Race Veil of Shadows yet. And the other one that is overs is the fourth top rate of Voodoo Queen, which we've got at $10. Um, <clears throat> currently it's available at 17.0. Um, it's last up listed win by Frankel out of Cursory Glance, the same family from um, Sweet Memories as well, as I touched on earlier. But this last up win at um, Pontefract over 12 furlongs was very good, um, suggesting there's more to come yet for this four-year-old. One evening back in second, Shing, swing, uh, Shing Shi back in third, th three priests back in fourth, the Deep Impact four-year-old, um, and the Tia Filo four-year-old, um, thanks Monica, back in fifth, but the form refs coming out of this run for Voodoo Queen stack up nicely. Um, Second home, then only beaten head by C, C theme um, and a length and a half off Sumo Sam in a group two at Doncaster next time out. Form franked. Third home behind Voodoo Queen, beaten three, was only beaten a length by arrest. Form franked. Um, form confirmed. Back to Sumo Sam next time out. Fifth home behind Voodoo Queen or fourth home behind Voodoo Queen. Solid form prior at Newcastle and Bath. <clears throat> and the fifth home, um, thanks Monica, came out, was only beaten a length and a quarter um, in France, a length and a half in France at listed level next time out in a strong list of race. And then only four lengths off Thunder Roll in another strong list of race uh, in um, Ireland, sorry. So plenty to suggest that there's more to come for Voodoo Queen yet. Um, back in winning form. Um, and every chance of running big here. So the top two that we want to back with a decent degree of confidence, Sweet Memories, currently 6.5, Veil of Shadows, currently 11.0, and a little nibble at Voodoo Queen at 17.0. That is the 225 from Newmarket on Friday, the Group 3 Dubai Stakes. Thanks.